Good morning, everybody. It's day 22 of uh, 30 Days to Better Writing Habits. I can't believe how quickly the time has gone. And I thought today's a really good time to talk to you about when things go wrong. Now, I recorded last on day 19, so I've missed day 20 and day 21. Once upon a time, I would have beaten myself up about that and said, that is really, really unfortunate and I can't write anymore and I have to go back and start again. But what happened this time is we were moving house, as some of you already know, and I didn't have time to physically write. And we all have times in our life where we can't write, where there's just so much happening and so much craziness around us that writing is the last thing on our minds. And if we force ourselves to write through that, we sometimes don't do the best writing that we can. So what I ended up doing was, while I was moving house and packing boxes and doing all those horrible things that you do when you're moving house, is I brought my characters along with me. So I spent the last two days getting to know my characters a little bit more deeply. Now, on day 19, we talked about character arcs. We talked about how important it was to get to know your characters more deeply as you're writing. Uh, Now I'm up to, I think it's about 22,000 words now. So my characters are really starting to take on life of their own. And I felt that now was as good a time as any to start having those conversations with them and, and finding out what their motivations are and what they really, really want out of this novel and what their obstacles are and how to push through and give them what they want. And it was a really interesting exercise because... I thought I knew my characters, but how can you when you've only been working with them for a few weeks? And so just spending time having conversations and finding out what their reaction would be was a really, really great thing to do. So if you get to a stage in your writing where you need to be doing other things, it's okay to stop and take a break. And you may wish to, I don't know, pop into a local library and do some research or jump on the internet and research a destination, go onto Google Earth and have a look what it looks like in your setting from way up there. There are so many non-writing tasks that you can do that will add depth and resonance to your writing that nothing is ever really wasted. Now we are, we've moved into the big city which is really exciting and we walked across this footbridge across this freeway just outside our door. Now I've always been a romance writer, I've always liked waterfalls and I've always liked deep nature in the rainforest of far north Queensland. And suddenly I found myself sitting or standing over the top of a freeway with six lanes of traffic and noise and everything everywhere. Now the first thing we're going to do is take our chairs back and sit up there and do some writing. Now if you're sitting beside a waterfall doing writing or doing your writing and talking about your characters, there tends to be... I guess a slower pace to it and there tends to be a lot of peace. But if you're sitting on top of a freeway, I should imagine that my sentences will be a lot shorter and sharper and I will be bring a lot more aggression to my writing because it's, it's out of my comfort zone. And I thought that can only make me a better writer. Uh, those experiences are never wasted. Uh, if you're interested in having a go for yourself and putting yourself somewhere where you wouldn't normally write, Or if you're doing something that is totally non-writing related, why not bring your characters along for the ride? Why not bring your characters along and see what they would get up to in that situation? So don't beat yourself up. Whatever you do, don't give up because if you're stuck with this for 22 days, then you've actually got something to say and you're serious about what you're doing. Uh, No one can do it for you. Bum in chair, make it happen. Um, But no one can stop you having a day off either, which is really, really important. So take your time out. Take the time that you need, but use it wisely. Use it constructively and see if you can't get something out of it anyway. So that's it for me for today. I'm going to actually do some writing. We're in we're in our house, as you can see. Now I've just got an awful lot of boxes to unpack. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, we've only got eight days to go. And hopefully by the end of our 30 days, those habits and goals that we set ourselves at the beginning of this 30 days, we can actually see not just a bit of progress, but some huge changes in the way we approach our work. Bye for now.